guys, it's Katherine, and this Fangirl Freakouts video is all about the web series Social Medium over on Dragon Maid Productions' YouTube channel. Now, I've only seen the first season. There's a prologue season that was actually made first, but uh, I have a friend over on Twitter that I live tweet web shows with, and he suggested that we watch the first season, so that's what I watched. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so the series is focused on Beatrix, who is in tune with the supernatural and can like contact ghosts, and she frequently contacts them through electronics. So like electronics just like give her messages, she can tell the ghosts are connected to them. So they show a clip of her when she was a little kid and she has one of those like pull a lever and it talks things. And so when she pulls it, it like is acting normal and then when it gets to like the something says, they're all animals, um, but it does like the something says instead of making the animal noise it goes Beatrix. So that was cool, like a cute little home video thing. Um, and then, like, she says she's had to exercise her laptop multiple times, and then she gets calls from people who, like, need her help. And so, the way the series is set up is that she says Dragon Maid Productions watched her early vlogs, which are the prologue, and decided that they wanted to do a series with her where she would, like, help people with their supernatural problems. So, uh, one of the cases involves her going to a bar, and at the bar, their, like, iPad thing, um, every time someone tries to order a drink, uh, it gives them something completely different and they're like frat boy ghosts. Uh, another person calls her because her match.com account keeps setting her up with people that her mom would want her to be with instead of the guys that she wants to date. Turns out her mom is haunting her match.com profile. They go ghost hunting. Um, what else happens? Oh, there's so many things. It's really fun. Um, there's a bakery where like these mysterious cupcakes keep showing up and there's lots of food in the series but cupcakes are a huge deal. They show up in every episode. Uh, which made me really want cupcakes the whole time I was watching it. I totally just bought some at the store. I was gonna make some from scratch because I love making cupcakes, but I didn't. But I did buy them. They're, they're, they're like random bread and blue cupcakes, and I'm going to eat one later. Anyway, um, so uh, besides the magical cupcakes, and besides Beatrix, she has a boyfriend, Fallon, who is kind of freaked out by the supernatural. Like, he's cool that she sees it, but when they go ghost hunting, he's like super panicky. Um, there, he does make a wish at one point in the episode for the ability to see ghosts and totally freaks out when it happens to him. He's like, no, eh, no thank you. Uh, Beatrix's friend Zola is really cool. Uh, she's the one who sets up a lot of stuff. She wants to go into business with Beatrix. They're like good friends, sort of business partners. She's kind of the voice of reason, like she makes sure everything is going okay. And she even is sort of like a couples therapist for Fallon and Beatrix. Um, there's also James, who it turns out is a god. He's explained more in the prologue, I found out, so I really need to watch those episodes. I just haven't had time yet. I'm super excited to watch them, though, because I loved the first season. Um, so he's in it. There's a little bit of a love triangle. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. There's a demon, which is crazy. I don't know. It's a really good show. Uh, some of the episodes are super, super short. Some of them are a little bit longer. Um, uh, most of them are divided into three parts, so... One of the parts is really, really tiny. Another is like an interview with someone else. So it's really cool. You get like follow-up interviews with the people she helps in her supernatural cases. So I would definitely check it out. I had a great time watching it. I'm excited to watch the prologue. I hope they do more seasons. I heard that they're up for a web series award and I hope that they win it. I'm really excited for them, but it was really great. A random thing, the guy playing Fallon, I kept going like, I recognize that guy, I recognize that guy, over and over again. I couldn't figure out where. And I'm sure lots of people recognized him from, he's been on a bunch of other web series, but I actually recognized him from the time he was on Geek and Sundry as one of their vloggers. He was Tiger Monkey, he did like thumb wrestling and like some food stuff, but I really liked him on there and so I was like, oh my gosh, that's who it is. So there's a random little factoid if you didn't know that already. So um, you should definitely check out Social Medium over on Dragon Maid Productions. It's really, really cool. Super short. You can watch the whole first season in like two hours. And the prologue stuff is shorter. I'm going to watch that tomorrow. Tomorrow is my day off. So that's my plan. Watch that. Then watch the Orphan Black finale. Super excited for it. I'm also wearing a Halloween shirt because I was like, oh, Social Medium. It's like ghosty and stuff. So Halloween. Uh, oh, I also really love their little title card with their, this little tiny ghost and it like 
flashes in black and white and plays cute music. It's so adorable. I loved it. Anyway, um, you should definitely check it out. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Twitter at Clef Notes on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the nerdygirlexpress.com, and run their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP, and I post recipes on the iZombie Sport Group site, iZombiesportGroup.com. Bye, guys!